Hello and welcome to the second installment of the Harmony series. I'm Madison. My name is May. And I'm Saskia. We're seniors at Barnard College of Columbia University. And together we created the Harmony series, a virtual concert series for senior living residents featuring Barnard and Columbia student musicians. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way we interact and we hope this project brings people together on a virtual stage. Through the Harmony series, we hope to curb isolation, foster community, and connect generations through music. First up today, we have the Columbia Clefhangers, who will be performing If I Can't Have You by Shawn Mendes. The Clefhangers sing all kinds of pop music at events on and off campus, from Columbia graduation to fancy parties across the city. Although the pandemic is keeping them apart, they're keeping the cleft spirit alive over the semester by recording music. Today, they're so excited to share their work with the greater New York community. Please enjoy. Next up, we have Vincent Lay and Isaac Horwitz. Vincent and Isaac are both from Los Angeles, California, and met during their sophomore year of Columbia. Isaac has played classical trumpet since fourth grade, and Vincent has juggled jazz saxophone, flute, and piano since middle school. As roommates during their junior year, Isaac and Vincent started collaborating on music projects, culminating with Vincent's Colors Project, a series of compositions with each named after a color in the rainbow. This one's called Yellow. Hope you enjoy. Bye. 
Next, please welcome Columbia Non Sequitur. They will be performing In My Life by the Beatles as performed in the style of the New York Voices. Non Sequitur is Columbia University's premier co-ed acapella group. As the name suggests, they pride themselves in their spontaneity, verve, and willingness to experiment with a wide variety of sounds. Over the past few years, they've recorded discography and performed and competed all over the country. Most recently, they were featured in HBO's Mrs. Fletcher. They are also proud to have one of Pitch Perfect's stars, Ben Platt, on their roster. Here is a special message from Columbia Non Sequitur. In My Life is our signature song. We perform it at every show and invite all of our alumni in the audience to join in in singing it too. This song is significant because it has brought all of us together during these fraught times. And now we hope to bring you all closer as well. Singing is a way for us to remain connected in a distracted and ever-changing world. It is a medium to express our passion for music and for one another. In this time of great confusion, worry, and anxiety, we hope that the song gives you peace and we send love and light to you all. Next up, we have Anzen Tang, who will be playing Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata for us. Anzen is originally from Shanghai, China. She's a senior majoring in economics, and she's been playing the classical piano since she was three years old. Although she doesn't practice as much today as she did as a child, she still plays as an amateur pianist and enjoys taking piano lessons at Columbia. Her passion is to get involved in the music business. That's why she's majoring in economics. Anzen says, for me, economics is a tool, but music is my soul. Here is a personal message from Anzen. This recording is from the time I was preparing for the undergraduate application to Columbia. I spent 30 minutes practicing every day for four months. The unbridled emotion of this piece can only be conveyed when the player is under pressure, and I was in that exact status when I played. Please enjoy.
Last but not least, we have the Columbia Glee Club. They will be performing California Dreamin' as arranged by Kirby Shaw. The Glee Club is proud to be open to all Columbia students interested in vocal performance, welcoming members of all ability levels. Please enjoy. Now we would like to relay a few messages from our partnering senior homes. First, a big shout out to the Glee Club at the New Jewish Home. We know the pandemic has prevented you from performing and we hope that you can sing together very soon. Relaying a message from Cobble Hill Health Center, they want their residents to know that they love them and will always be there for them no matter what. And finally, a big shout out to the staff of Dry Harbor Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. From their nurses to administrative staff, they have been the real heroes during these difficult times. We would like to thank and celebrate all of our student musicians. Thank you so much for your hard work and dedication to our project. We are proud to share the music you've created and we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you again. We would also like to thank our fabulous video editor, Olivia Trainer. Olivia is a sophomore at Barnard and a 2020 Young Arts finalist. Based in the Bay Area, Olivia is an award-winning filmmaker, writer, and photographer. You can see more of her work on her website at www.oliviatrainer.com. Olivia, thank you. We are so grateful to you. Thank you for listening to the Harmony series. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you'd like to hear more, tune into our next concert coming out Friday, December 18th. If you didn't hear our last concert, feel free to check it out on our YouTube channel.